really hard to get what I like and and what should I say and is um, and I can afford it when you when you have the budget and then when you go to the dealers it's just it's keep it's keep uh, increasing the price okay that's, you that's know yeah it's just you know I I use a true car to to get uh, to get the idea you know true truecar.com I haven't heard of it oh you haven't heard of this okay in yeah in USA they have a truecar.com if you want to buy cars the true car will be you can select what you like and the price is you you will get the good price compared to go to to go to the dealership okay and nice. then yes yes and then when i have the the price range from true car when i go to the dealer i cannot get that price is is something like uh, expensive than i i get from true car yeah i keep okay. right now i just keep uh, keep searching i want to buy the cheapest one <laughs> yeah definitely yeah okay and mm. Yeah, nice. Well, good luck for sure. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca. Thank you. Yeah. Rebecca, how's it going? Um, I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. And no. so, Re Rebecca, I don't know if I recognize your picture. Have I had you in class before? Yes, well, I took uh, classes with you months ago. Uh, but I changed the picture, so okay. um, I've been out uh, off. I've been off uh, of Berlin for at least one month. Okay, well, it's nice to have you back. Uh, how have you been? Well, I just moved to Spain now again, so I'm living here in my country mm -hmm. because I I I was living in the UK. And okay. Good. <laughs> I'm happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Good to have you back. Like I said, and Anna Carolina, welcome back to class. How are you? Thank you, Josh. I'm I'm great. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Um, good to hear. Um, and Anna Carolina, what'd you do in Rio this weekend? I went to the planetarium. Sweet. I, I, yes, to see. I like the planetarium. Yeah. They show movies and and they have a museum there. It's nice. And I ate out in a lot of nice restaurants. Uh, I went to the Outback, to an Ar Arabic restaurant. Mm to a Japanese restaurant I really like e eating out you know Solid. Okay. I, I ate the nice ice cream that I like there and I did shopping I went shopping I went shopping I okay. bought a, a new game from for my for my son and some clothes and nice. make up for me. Okay. Had a busy, busy little weekend. Um, good though. And I think we're all set. Let's get started with today's class. Um, and let's look here. Let's start with Rebecca. Can you read the title on the next lines? Sure. Sorry. Today we will learn sales and marketing vocabulary, current sales strategies, strategies, adverbs and adjectives. All right, good. Strategies. Strategies. Say again, please. Strategies. Strategies. How many syllables? Three. Strategies. Three. Strategies. Strategies. Good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Strategies. So current sales strategies. Strategies, yeah. Strategies. Good. 
That sounded perfect. Really nicely done. Um, Rebecca, can you ask Ellie the first question? Yeah. What is the uh, funniest advertisement you have seen? Describe it. What was it the funniest advertisement? Oh. Um, wow. I I haven't seen oh because I I I don't I usually don't watch TV. Mm, so I I cannot think about what is the funniest advertisement right now. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it is okay. Um. How about can can I ask you back, <laughs> Rebecca? <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Maybe Anna Carolina. What about you? Is yeah. Funniest advertisement. Ah, uh, there are some that I I like and and they make me laugh. Uh, the last one that I saw. Uh, there are some guys um, at the beach. It's about uh, beer, and there is a woman who is a waitress, and her name is Verão, which means summer in English. Verão. Verão. I'm I'm going to type, which means summer. In English, you must spell the teacher. <clears throat> okay. And and then, uh, one of the wives, wives, uh, um, shows up very angry. Uh, what do you think that you are doing? And and the guy answer, I'm just enjoying the summer. <laughs> A wife shows up. Yes, but the waitress was uh, giving him a massage, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. That sounds pretty funny. Uh -huh. Yes, and, and the other one is a ruffle, a potato, uh, making pole dance in a snack machine. <laughs> and and women, oh, oh, you know. Cute, also, very nice. Um, okay, good. And Ken, welcome to class. How's it going, Ken? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Doing really well. Thanks for asking. Uh, good to see you again. Good to see you Ken, again. what about you? Funniest advertisements? Can you think of any? Ah, uh, yeah. And, uh, Kind of one a mobile phone carriers uh, commercial is a series of commercial or, or very uh, how can I say yeah at a very kind of uh, was a big hit and I used to keep a white Shiba dog and that uh, so that dog is very similar to my former pet so I was uh, you know uh, always I was. TV screen that commercial started, and he talks. His role is father of family, and fam other family member are humans. A famous actor and actress, actually, uh, Karen Tarantino, appeared that commercial <laughs> with that dog. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny commercial, and I like that dog. I love that dog. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cute. That Cute. sounds good. Um. Okay, and maybe Ken, can you ask Rebecca the next question? Okay, Rebecca, uh, what is the most uh, advertised product in your country? Mm, well, uh, as I just said, uh, I just moved here and I don't like to, to watch uh, TV, but uh, I think here in my country, like uh, nowadays in a lot of countries um, are very popular, popular you know advertise, advertise, advertisement related to electronic devices such as uh, telephones, iPhones 
and tablets, and, you know, all that is uh, those uh, uh, that stuff, and of course uh, um, as well advertisement of cars. And now we are in summer, so um, advertisements uh, from um, travel agencies to get a good de deal for uh, our um, holidays here in Spain or even outside uh, outside Spain. Can I say outside Spain or uh, how mm -hmm. is the expression? Outside Spain. Outside of Spain. So mm, yeah, it's a, a combination, you know, but. Uh, it depends always on the, the period of the year, and now we are in summer, so now they are selling us uh, and hotels and, and um, tickets to, to fly. Okay, they are selling us hotels. They are selling us hotels and tickets to fly. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Really, really solid. Um, Rebecca, can you ask Ellie the next question? Yeah. Do you think children or young people are easier to influence through art compared to adults? Yes, I think I think children I think they are because children uh, or young tend to think less than adult and when they when they see advertise if they if they like it, they they just jump into it. They never think. They never compare to the to the others other products. If they if they if they if the advertise advertisement is is attracted them and. They just go for it. <laughs> go for it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Uh, okay. Does anybody have any questions here? Okay. And let's go on to the next page. And Anna Carolina, can you read through the words? Um, okay. Uh, Publicity, campaign, demographic, timely, billboard, close a deal, slogan, follow up, product line. Really nicely done. Okay. Any questions here? Demographics, please. Demographic. <laughs> Anna Carolina, can you make a sentence with demographic? <coughs> Okay. Um, the census um, went here to ask about people who who are living here to know the demographic rates. Okay, we could just say the demographics. To know the demographics. Thank you. The census worker, we'd say. Went, went. Mm -hmm. And we'd say went there, but came here. Okay, came here. The census work came here. Yeah, to know about the demographics. All right. Good. And Ken, what does demographics mean? Or what is a demographic? A demographic means a group of people who buy the product or are the fan of the artist. For example, maybe One Direction fans, usually uh, young teenage girls. <laughs> yeah. Good. So it's a group of people, it's a demographic. Um, so it could be, you know, a group of people who are fans of an artist, people who buy product. Yeah, One Direction's fans or the demographic of people who like One Direction are generally teenage girls. Uh, I think that was great. Really good job, Ken. Does that make sense, Rebecca? Yes. Okay. 
And Vladimiru, Vladimiru, how are you doing? Yeah. Hi, how are you, Vlad? Vladimiru? Are you calling me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. How do you say your name? Mm. Actually, it's not my real name. I just create a fake internet name. What would know. you like me to call you? Mm. Just call me Bob. <laughs> Bob? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bob is easier than Vladimiru. Um, okay, all right. And does anybody... Well, Bob, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, oh is it Vlad? Do you prefer Vlad? Let him... Okay. Vlad is, bad. Bad is pretty great, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Where are you from, Vlad? Yeah, I'm from Taiwan. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, it's a small, it's a small country. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, nice. Okay. And, all right, does anybody else have any other questions here about any of these words? <laughs> Could you remind me the meaning of billboards? I'm sorry, I forgot. Don't be sorry. Who knows what a billboard is? Billboard. Sorry. Billboard. You... Go ahead. All right, you broke up. Can you try again? Can you repeat what billboard is? Uh, billboard is something you, a commercial you put on buses or buildings. Is it right? Yeah, so it's like an advertisement that you put on buildings or on the side of the road. To advertise something. So they're really big signs that you put on the side of the road or on buildings. And Herman, welcome to class. How's it going, Herman? Hey, Yetche. Nice to see you again. You too. And, okay. And any other questions? Okay, and I think we had Anna Carolina read the words. Ken, can you make a sentence with close a deal? Close a deal. Mm. Close a deal means uh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 Microsoft, uh, Apple, uh, in order to start iTunes, Steve Jobs closed the deal with a lot of record labels. Uh -huh. With a mm, no record. Yeah, I guess that actually probably was really difficult to do. Um, <laughs> Good though. And any, I oh, will no other questions, so let's go on to the next page. Let's try this. Vlad, can you try the first sentence? Uh, we have to get the material to the client in a timely, right? Mm -hmm. Timely is perfect. Is Can you read the whole sentence, Vlad? Uh, we have to get the materials to the client in a timely fashion. Good. Rebecca, what about the next one? Yeah. Then, the profitability Mm -hmm. of the product was insufficient to validate 
the company's investment. Good. The profitability of the product was insufficient to validate the company's investment. Good. Um, maybe can you repeat that one more time, Rebecca? The profitability of the product was insufficient to validate the company's investment. Yes. The profit the profitability of the product was insufficient to validate validate. The company's investment. Insufficient. 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 Good. Three. Insufficient. Thank you. Good. Herman, what about the next one? What type of consumer uh, market research are you looking to target with that ad, Dennis? You're looking to target the market research? Uh, consumer. Mm. I don't know. Consumer group implementation. We're talking about a synonym for like a specific group. Oh, uh, demographic. Uh huh. So we've got like say demographic demographic and we've got ah man I can't not do anything with my fingers right now sorry uh give me a second I just pressed the wrong button and we've got maybe an ad and so like the ad will be funny but it will only be funny towards a specific demographic, not towards another one. So if we've got a demographic of young, rich people, and then on the other side, what is going on? Sorry. Um, right. So young, rich people, and then on the other side, we've got old, poor people. Uh, we've got our an ad and it's targeting those people. It's looking to advertise to those people and it's not looking to advertise towards these people. No old poor people. We want young rich people. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Ellie, what about the next one? The next one, the new... Okay. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay, how about the uh, pro promotional uh, material? Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. We are making more sales than ever before. Perfect. Anna Carolina, what about the next one? Um, let me see. <clears throat> How can we how can we teacher? Uh, there are two two things that you could fit optimize and implement. Optimize Implement's not an option though. Okay. How can we optimize the production and sale of this product? We are losing too much money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's good. Implement wouldn't... How can we implement the production and sale of this product? How can we implement this new feature into our old products? It's like implement would be like to put into kind of the implementation. Um, yeah, Optimize works really well. Does anybody have any questions here? All right. Really well done. And I like that. <laughs> let's, let's try this. Um, Ken, can you read The Salesman? You, <clears throat> you walk to someone's door to try to sell uh, something. What is it? Can. Mm. 
cosmetics. Okay, good. And let's have Vlad, the homeowner. Mm -hmm. Can you read that? Someone knocks on your door and tries to sell you cosmetics. 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 Good. Ken, how would you start us out? Yes. Uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Who hello. are you? Okay. Uh, Maybe you can. One more answer. Okay. Uh, it's uh, nice to meet you, nice madam. Madam, or gentleman. And uh, yeah, uh, I uh, I bring here a very very fabulous stuff. Uh, so let me introduce that stuff. That good. <laughs> that was good. Okay, and let's have um, Rebecca. How'd you respond? Well, um. Um, I'm the home owner. Mm -hmm. mm, excuse me, but uh, you are knocking on my door in a bad moment. Uh, would you mind coming later, please? And coming later. Uh, please? Good. Um, you're in a bad moment, maybe a different preposition. Um, at. At, yeah. At a bad right. moment. At a bad moment, okay. Good. Thurman, how would you respond? Uh, no problem, madam. But I want to tell you that you are the customer number 1000 so I so we have a special offer for you that is probably the best salesman answer you're on key with your salesman talk today and um, yeah that was that was great uh, Ellie how would you respond Um, um, uh, what, uh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Um, I don't usually wear makeup, but I, uh, I will, I, I don't usually wear, I don't usually wear makeup, but I, will buy for my daughter if you have something that if you have something that uh, interested <laughs> interested me uh, interest interests me okay Good. all right and Anna Carolina how would you respond I definitely have you know, I have some products that are equal. I definitely have something that would be interested you. Um, I have some products that are green and uh, uh, made of natural ingredients, and they are not harmful for a teenager skin and even um, children are allowed to use you know and I also have products that can stop you from aging you you will be mesmerizing uh, with the range of products that she, I have to show you uh, since you are busy now we can schedule to meet you later and if you would like to bring some friends I would be really happy 
to show you all the amazing, awesome products that I have. And you won't regret it, that's for sure. Good, won't regret it, that's for sure. Really nice answer. Uh, Ken, how would you respond? Oh, that sounds fine. Uh, but since I, I'm a uh, 1,000 num number 1,000 customer. What 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 advantage can I get? Nice. What advantages? Advantages. Nice. Okay. And Vlad, how would you respond? Mm. Since you are our 1,000 customers, we're gonna give you the whole package. The uh I don't know if you make up brand. Yeah. Uh, it in Includes lipsticks, brushes, and everything, everything you need for your daily basis makeup. Brushes. Uh, brushes. Need for your daily makeup. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm finished. Okay, good. And maybe Rebecca, how would you respond? Well, you know what happened? I can't see because of the icon. So uh, the last word I can read is include. Thank you. Okay. Well, that sounds good, but uh, I was expected uh, a big uh, discount, you know, because um, I don't think uh, that is uh, a good deal for a thousand, a one one thousand customer. The, so yes, the one thousand customer of the year, the month. Sorry, hold on. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes. Uh, Customer of the month. Yes. Okay, good. And maybe one more. Herman, how would you respond? Oh, I see that you are a smart customer. Of course, you will get a big discount, and you could get two p two packages for the price of one. Nice. <laughs> Solid. Okay, and maybe Ali. I guess how would you respond to that? Okay, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Awesome. And does anybody have any questions on this page? All right. Let's go on. Try something else. Uh, let's skip that. All right. We could try this. And Anna Carolina. Can you read the title and try the first one? <clears throat> the normal procedure is to approach the design department. The normal. Hmm? Instead. Yeah, the normal procedure. How could you change the sentence if you did want to use an adverb? Oh my gosh. Teacher, okay. Uh, 
normally, comma. The procedure mm -hmm. is to approach the design department. Nice. Really well done. Okay. And Ken, what about the next one? The, the exceptional high price reflects the quality of the product. I'm not sure if I heard that correctly. Did you correct it? The exceptional high price reflects the quality of the product. Exceptional high price. Mm, ex exceptionally high price. No. Exceptionally high price. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I was like thinking about it a little bit too much. Uh, good, yeah, that's perfect. If you want to use exceptional, how would you make a sentence using exceptional? Uh, ex exceptional highly price. <laughs> the, we'd have to remove a word. Mm-hmm. Remove the word exceptional pro uh, price. Uh -huh. Except exceptional price. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The exceptional price reflects mm -hmm. the quality. The exceptional connotates high pro high price, not low price. Yeah, the exceptional price is like a high price. Okay. Um, yeah, really good job. And Vlad, what about the next one? The problem like what is well but it is selling too fast. It is sell, selling too fast. No no at why. Alright, so it's selling too fast because fast reflects how it's selling, we need an adverb. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so fastly is really close, but fastly is not a word. So what's another word we could use? Quickly. Yeah. Quickly. Quickly. Okay. I'm selling too quickly. And the product line is well? It's good. Yeah, the product line is good. Sounds better. Um, state of being, the product is a good product. Um, okay. Can you read that whole sentence, Vlad? The product line is good, but it is selling too quickly. We can't keep up. Keep up. Good. And then, if we're talking about the second one, we're looking at the high price. So the price is a thing. Um, so we're using an adjective to describe the thing. But how high is it? It's exceptionally high. And so we use adverbs to modify adjectives. We use adverbs to modify adverbs and verbs. Hopefully that makes sense. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay. Mm no questions. We could try this one. And Rebecca, can you read the title and try the first sentence? Yeah. The title here in the adjective or adverbs. So the first one is it's a sophisticated music system. Well, I say highly. Yeah, it's a highly. Okay. 
Yeah, highly sophisticated. Can you read the whole thing? Me? Yeah, can you read the whole sentence? Oh, sorry, sorry, I was reading. Uh, it is a highly sophisticated music system. Mm -hmm. Good. And Rebecca, there is some noise coming from your microphone, so if you could just keep it off when you're, when you're not speaking. Yeah, sorry, but uh, uh, when I'm talking, I can avoid it because it's from my computer and uh, yeah. I need to fix it, so sorry. No worries. No, when you're talking, it's fine. Um, and Herman, what about the next one? It is a very complicated report and difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. Good. And what about the next one, Ellie? It is important to maintain cons consistent quality mm -hmm. in our product. Uh, products. Good. Really well done. Yes. Anna Caroline, what about the next one? Mm. The prototype was the air was mm. Badly designed, and they had to to go back it to the drawing board. Good, solid. And Ken, what about the next one? Okay, uh, they are going to buy a blank piece of new machine, but it should be worth the expense. They are going to buy a cost strip piece of new machine. Machinery. Good. Machine. But it should be worth the expense. Can you repeat machinery? Machinery. Perfect. And Vlad, what about the next one? Vlad? Vlad, are you there? Oh, sorry, I closed my mic. Efficiency is a major feature of the new machine. Solid. And hopefully no questions here. Mm. OK, let's go back to this. And let's have Rebecca. Can you read the role of Calvin? And Herman, can you read the role of Hobbes? Okay, so I'm starting. Mm -hmm. I wish my shirt had a long logo or a product on it. A good shirt turns the near into a walking corporate billboard. It says to the world, my identity is so rapid up. In what I buy that I paid the company to advertise its products. You admit that? Oh sure. Endorsing products is the American way to express individuality. Nice. All right. Uh, where? Can you repeat where? Where is that? Where? With that, which uh, picture? Uh, right here. Where? Okay, thank you. A good shirt turns the where, where, wearer, wearer, where, where. where. Mm -hmm. Is that? Ah, the per a person who is uh, wearing the clothes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Wrapped. Wrapped. Mm -hmm. Wrapped. Wrapped. Right here. Wrapped. Yes. And I paid the company. I paid, paid the company. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Thank you. German, really good pronunciation. You did admit that? You did admit that? Uh, that was really good intonation. Uh, but what's happening here? Uh, uh, Calvin is talking about 
shirts and logos. Uh, he said that he used logos because they describe their personality and also they pay to the company for advertising its products. Okay. I think he's being ironic uh, because of the American culture in a way to express individuality with a typical shirt of a brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the idea that Americans will often like express their individuality, their like personality by wearing like a product or wearing the name of a company on their shirt. Yeah, it seems kind of silly. Um, so you think either Calvin's being ironic or the, the artist is being ironic. I think that's good. Um, okay. Yeah. And what do you think, Ellie? What do you think about the comic? What do you think about the idea of wearing logos on your clothes? Do you think it it expresses individuality? Um, if okay, if I'm talking about uh, the owners of the company's uh, position, I think that this is the good way to advertise your 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 band. You don't have to pay for ad advertisement. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you just give that shirt away to the customer, and then you you get your company name out there. You give the shirt away. Yeah, give the shirt, give, give the shirt, give the shirt away with the logo on that on the shirt. You don't generally give the shirt away. You'll sell it, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the customer buys the shirt. Uh -huh. And then instead of you paying for advertising, they're paying you to, yeah. so that oh. they can advertise. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the idea that, you know, cultures become so wrapped up, yeah, in, like, consumerist identity. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know. Do you think, Anna Carolina, that it's a good thing or a bad thing? The fact that, you know, our identities are so often wrapped up in the brands that we use? Or do you think it's even accurate? Ah, uh, teacher. I have a weird question. <laughs> I don't know. I... I... Sometimes it is accurate because you, you buy a shirt when you identify with the shirt, but sometimes it is totally inaccurate. Once I saw a woman wearing a shirt where it was written, I am a whole, you can imagine. And I know that she, she had no idea about it, you know. Okay. Do you think even though she didn't know the meaning of it, do you think she, like, you know, the I fact bet. that it was in English, it meant something I know, bet. about her? I bet she, she didn't know the meaning, teacher. No yeah. one would never wear a shirt she wearing at herself. I I'm I'm sure. Uh, maybe she thought I I will be looking like a cool person because it is in English. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she liked the colors, but I'm sure she would never wear that shirt if she knew. Did you tell her what yeah. I meant? Of course, no, teacher. Well, I don't know. She's going to wear shirt could, more now. No, how could I approach someone that I don't know on the streets and tell you, no, it is written that you are a... Yeah. 
Okay. Be you see in Portuguese. Yeah. No, um, no, no. <laughs> you can say like, it's supposed yeah, to be really weird, R really awkward. No way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good. I think a good response. Does anybody have any questions or comments on this page? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go. We can skip that. Let's do. Hmm. I don't know about the reading. Sorry. Um. I guess we could do a little bit of this. Ken, can you read the first two paragraphs? <laughs> Marketing is the methodology of communicating the value of a product or service to customers for the purpose of selling that product or service. Marketing techniques include choosing target markets through market analysis and market segmentation as well as an understanding consumer behavior and ad advertising a product va value to the customer. Marketing blends are art and applied science, such as behavior behavioral science, and makes use of information technology. Nice. Really good job. Methodology? Methodo methodology? Yeah, methodology. Analysis. Analysis. And segmentation. Segmentation. Solid. Methodology, analysis, segmentation. And does anybody have any questions in this first part? Could you pronounce blend with e an E and blend with an I? Blend? This blends? With an E and the same words with an I. Like blind? No. No, sorry, A. With an A. Bland. Yes, please. Okay, so we've got bland. Like bland. Hmm. Yeah, maybe like that, bland and blend. Can you repeat this? I, I didn't I didn't note the difference. So an, an, and n, n. My gosh, it's the same. Blend, blend, <laughs> I don't know. Bland, um... Like land. Can you say land? Land. 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 Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Land. 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 N N. This is like an N. N vivo. Land. Okay. Let me try. A uh, blend. And blend. No. Blend. Two, More with an two, N. Two, really good job with bland. Bland. The second is too difficult for me. It's okay. Blend. Blend. Perfect. Blend. Can you say N? And. N. Just N. 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 You're saying still N. Try, try to work on your N. 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 My tongue doesn't obey me. I will practice. Okay. And Vlad, can you read the next paragraph? Okay. A target market is a group of customers toward which a business has decided to aim its market efforts and ultimate the its merchandise. A well definite target market is the first element to a marketing strategy. <laughs> marketing makes Will write, will write, will write both of products, place, distribution, promotion, and price are the fourth element of a make 
marketing mix strategy that determines the success of a product in the marketplace. Okay. Let's look at variables. Can you repeat variables? Well, again, please. Variables. Variables. Vari variables. Good. Variables. One more time. <laughs> Solid. Variables. Mm -hmm. Variables. 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 Good. Defined. Defined. Mm -hmm. Strategy. 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 Perfect. I think you did a nice job. Does anybody have any questions here? How, how to pronounce this one? Uh, we have, we have, we, we have the paragraph two, the behavioral, uh, behavioral, 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 behavioral. behavioral. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Behavioral. Behavioral. Any other questions? Okay. What do you think, maybe Rebecca, what's the target market of Mercedes? Of course, uh, rich people, you know. I say uh, high, um, uh, how is the expression? High. No, uh, no middle class, high class, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe the the upper classes. Up, yes, better, yes. Upper and mi medium, medium. Mm -hmm. Upper and middle oh. class. Okay, and low class, of course. The low class as well. No, no, I'm uh. just asking for the word, you know. Because to um, talking about the classes, you know, I don't know in your country, but here we always say three different classes. Yeah. So the talking upper class. Talking about society. Talking about society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The upper class, the middle class, and the lower ca class. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is the thing. Yeah. Okay. Of course, good. the target of Mercedes is uh, the upper upper class. Yeah, for sure. It definitely is. Okay, and yeah, we are just about out of time. Does anybody have any last questions? Okay, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, Vlad, it was good to meet you. Rebecca, it was good to see you for the first time in a while. Um, and have a really good day, guys. And uh, thanks for coming in. Everybody else, it's great to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.